Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at today is a free open source Photoshop alternative that is not GIMP, right? So typically when we when we talk about that, people always turn to GIMP. And GIMP used to have a very steep learning curve and it just seemed kind of bleh. And, and um, I use it, but then somebody suggested a piece of software called Photodemon. And it's got a couple of advantages. Let me show you what we've got going on here. And I'll leave a link to this down below. But first of all, it comes in a zip file and it doesn't have to install. It can just run. So it's a portable app. And that right there, I'm sure you can do it with GIMP too. But typically when you go download GIMP, if you're not looking for a portable version, it installs, right? And I'm not saying anything... Um, I'm not saying anything bad about GIMP. I'm saying that this is another another alternative, right? So, and you can see here that this comes with 200 professional grade tools, uh, things that you would expect out of a photo editor if you're looking for one or an, Im, an, Im, an image editor. It can even, uh, looks like it can even open Photoshop files, Corel Paint Shop Pro files, and GIMP files. So I downloaded it. Um, it does run on Windows only. You could probably make it run on, on Wine uh, for Linux and uh, however you do that on Mac, maybe like a crossover studio or something like that. Here it says it does have a macro recorder, batch processor. You can customize your, your keyboard shortcuts. And it supports all... All Windows versions XP through 11 are fully supported. Comes in many languages. Was last updated, looks like, in April. So what does it look like? This is what it looks like. I, I just opened it. And it's going to ask me here uh, a little bit about my theme and language. So look at all the different languages that it comes with out of the box. And we're going to choose English. That's the one I, I mess up the, the least, right? Uh, interface theme, light or dark. We're going to go with dark. Interface accent color. We can go with blue or green. That would be one of my choices. Icons, either default or monochromatic. And you can change these at any time, but I'm going to click OK. So here is Photo Demon. Let's just do something new. And let's do uh, 500 by 500 at a 96. Uh, DPI background you can come out of the gate at transparent uh, black white or custom color so we'll just do transparent so you can see you get the nice transparency check checkerboard back there you've got all of your tools over here on the side and then if we go up here it looks like we have a lot of oh you can do some animation we can compare uh, color. We can do a color lookup. We can take a look at the metadata on uh, files. Layers. We can do layering. So we can do a basic layer, blank layer, layer from clipboard, from file, from visible layers, layer via copy, via, via cut. We can do replacement. Uh, I'm liking this already. I'm going to run this. If you're running this, let me know uh, down below. Transparency. Uh, you can do from color for chroma key there. Let's see, adjustments. We've got all all the adjustments. And I always like to have an uh, image editing software. I, you know, I do use Canva. I used to use Photoshop. Uh, I've used GIMP. Uh, I've used multiple paint programs. Uh, sometimes if you work with me and we need a quick diagram, we'll open MS Paint and crudely, <laughs> crudely draw it so that I understand what's, what's going on. All right, look at all these effects out of the box. And all kinds of things. So we've got, you know, embossing, lights and shadows, natural effects, noise effects. So, I mean, it comes loaded with a lot of things that you can do. And you can throw this on a USB key. Um, we've got all kinds of tools. So here's your macro. We've got an animated screen capture built in. Looks like there's a third-party libraries here. So this is just another alternative, another tool in the toolbox. If anybody else is using this, let me know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play around with it. Um, 
I'm going to take some of my thumbnails and mess around with them, create some new images, put some of my photos in here over the next few days. But I always like having another another tool in the toolbox, and I love supporting open source uh, projects. So let me know down below if you have used PhotoDemon or what you're using if you're not using a paid subscription to do your, your image and your photo editing. Drop those down below so that we can take a look at them and we can share those with the rest of the world. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, everything from networking to voiceover IP, storage, and security, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, talk about what what open source software, open source image editors you're using. I love, 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 love supporting open source software. And <clears throat> I will tell you that more things in the world are built on open source software than what people realize. And there's huge advantage of that and huge advantage of taking care of those folks in that ecosystem. But once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.